Now let's talk about cookies. What are cookies? Well, have you seen those messages? We use cookies on our website and then you click on accepts. Cookies are like files or better say content that the website or server would embed on your computer through your browser. You can see all the cookies that all the websites have embedded on your computer on both Chrome and Firefox. For example, let's go to my browser here. It is Chrome. So I go to setting in the setting. I search for cookie and then uh, I see that here there is an option. See all cookies and site data. If I click on that, I can see that Google and WhatsApp have set some cookies on my browser. So let's see, for example, if I click on cookies for Google, as you can see, google.com locally stored data. These are the data. The name is this and the content is this. For example, AEC, the name is AEC and the content is this. And for NID, NID is this and the content is this. The domain was google.com, the path was this, the home and some other data. It was created on 22nd of May, like today, and it expires on November 21st. So it would expire in a month and that's it. All the cookies have those information created and expires. And again, here it has been created today, but it expires in 20 days and it expires in almost a month. Now let's see how we can set these cookies on the user browser with the help of PHP. When we work with cookies, there are four actions. There are four aspects of working with cookies. First, we create them and set them on the user's browser and then we can update them and read them and delete them. So let's start by creating them. In order to create a cookie, uh, you can use set cookies function, set cookie. The first argument is the name of the cookie. For example, I can say this is a test. And the second argument is the value. Here I can say test, this is a cookie as a value. Name and value are like, uh, do you remember in associative arrays when we had keys and values? Here is exactly like that. The name is like the key and the value is like the value of that key. The next argument is expires. How long do you want to keep the cookie on user's computer? For example, did you see that Google has set a cookie on my computer and it expired in a month? Here we can specify that we will be using like time function and we'll add some values to it. And then here, let's say expires. And the next argument is the path. The path is where this cookie will be available if you set it to this. Uh, the whole domain can access this cookie, but if you set it to, for example, example, then only example and all the subdirectories like example second, example first, these can access it. But if I had another path like test, it wouldn't be able to access it. So for now I will set it to this. So the whole domain can access this cookie. The next argument is the domain to which subdomain will your cookie be available. If you want the cookie to be available to all the subdomains and the domain itself, you can set it to domain like, uh, I don't know, example.com or in my case, localhost, for example. The next argument is secure. This value can be true or false. If set to true, cookie can only be accessed on HTTPS from the client side. And the next argument is HTTP. It will only be available when sending the request through HTTP protocol and not any other protocol. So I could also set it to true. And this function, this set cookie function should always be before any HTML tag. And it's very important. So if I have some HTML tag here and then I set this cookie, it's not going to work. But if I have this after the set cookie, it's going to work. No problem. It's very important. When we set the cookie, the very first time we are going to set the cookie on the browser. And the next time that the user comes to this website, then we can access it. Let's set a very simple cookie on our current browser. 
the expire I want expire to be time and this time should be plus let's say uh, I don't know 60 second plus 60 second in 60 minute in 24 hours and let's say for 30 days perfect this will uh, add the expire value to in a month so here would be a month this would be the path and i want the my i want my whole domain to be act to be able to access this these three last arguments are optional i prefer to have the default values so i'm going to delete them now if i go to my browser and run the code and go to my cookies again I'm going to see that localhost has added a cookie to my browser the name is test like we have specified the content is this is a cookie <laughs> the domain is localhost the path is this so all the website the whole domain can access this cookie and it's uh, the created date is May 22 and it expires in a month exactly perfect yeah now next time that we refresh the page here, we can access this cookie. So let's go back to the code. Let me comment this part. This was creating it. Now how can we read it? How can we access this cookie? In order to access the cookie in our browser, we can use a super global variable cookie in PHP and then access it. Like any array, we can get the key here. For example, the key that I passed was test. So if there was a cookie uh, with the key of test, I would be able to get it. Otherwise, it would return null. So let's check for that as well. If is set cookie test then tell me the value echo cookie test otherwise tell me that there was no cookie found on the user's browser better say okay now let's run our website again to see if we can access the cookie as we have seen we had that cookie there and now let's see this is a cookie this is the content of the test cookie that we have set as you can see test the content is this is a cookie now we could easily access it perfect now let's go back to our code now I want to update it how can I update it all I need to do to update a cookie is to run this set cookie function again with the same key if the key is uh, the same and the key already exists in the cookies, the set cookie function is going to update it. Otherwise, it's going to create a new cookie. So since we already have test, this function is going to update it. Let's update it and fix the typo and say updated. And it expires in another month. And let's run the code again. Let's go to my browser and run the code again it tells me that expire is uh, expire is not valid let's go back to the code i remember that i have commented that out as well so let's bring it back and let's run the code again as you can see there is no error and now if i go to my cookies i can see that this is cookie we have fixed the typo and now the content is this is cookie updated perfect and the last thing that we want to do is to delete the cookie in order to delete the cookie all I need to do is to set the cookie again with the same key leave the value empty and set the expire to some date in the past for example I can say time minus 3600 so it the date would be something in the past now my browser is going to see that this uh, cookie has expired and it's going to delete it for me let's run the code and see if it works if i go to here i refresh the page i go to my cookies and as you can see the cookie has been deleted
That's everything we needed to know about the cookies. Cookies can be very good and powerful if you want to provide a very smooth and good experience for the user. But on the other hand, insecure cookies can cause a lot of security issues. Never put any sensitive information as a cookie, for example, never save like set cookie credit card, never do that, never use user ID and password in the cookies. Uh, always, always encrypt the data that you want to set as cookie. Almost always try to encrypt the cookies. Do not lock the user in by checking their ID that has been set in the cookies. I know this sentence might sound stupid, but I have seen it too much and uh, that some uh, programmer set ID in the cookie and uh, checks if the ID has been set in the cookies and then logs in the user. It would be very easy to hack that all I need to do to change my cookie to admin and then I can log into the server with the admin access. It's very stupid. Do not do that. Like I said, cookies can be very useful, but on, on the same time, if they are not secure, it can be very risky. So be careful. This is the end of cookies. Now let's go to the next topic.